Next Sunday's Super Bowl will feature a BC boy, Mitch Berger of the Pittsburgh Steelers, who went to North Delta Secondary. He's the punter of the Steelers, and if my memory is correct, he is the third BC Rays guy in the Super Bowl. Tawasson's Harold Hasselback was in it with Denver, and he won. Victoria's Eddie Murray was a kicker for Dallas, and he won. So maybe there is something, a good omen, about being from BC and being in the Super Bowl. It took him 13 seasons and six teams to play in a Super Bowl. 19 years ago, Berger was the star of the North Delta secondary football team. He was the quarterback, a defensive back, and the team's kicker. And it didn't take long for everyone to figure out this was a special talent. Uh, the very first punt that he ever kicked in a high school game was about 60 yards and it had about a five second hang time and everybody that was out on that field you could just hear this ooh go through the sky right and uh, you know definitely he had the lake Berger grew up just down the street from the school it wasn't hard to spot his house it was the one with the field goal posts in the backyard Mitch practiced every chance he got and not just football he'd get up at six o'clock in the morning he had a routine that he followed before he came to school. He'd come to football practice after school. At about 5.30, he'd go to basketball practice. About 9 o'clock, he'd go to the weight room, work out till 10 o'clock at night, and then he'd do his homework from 10 o'clock till midnight. Berger never won a high school football championship, but he did in basketball. He's number 15, helping the Huskies win the 1990 AAA title. Berger's the most famous North Delta alumnus. He even bought the school new weight room equipment a few years ago. But he's not the only one who made it to the NFL. Davis Sanchez played two seasons for the San Diego Chargers before heading to the CFL. Davis Sanchez down the sideline. Hit on Roethlisberger. Here's Berger. But Berger is the first to make it to the Super Bowl. He's got attention in the past for his Snickers bar snacks on the sidelines, but Mitch Berger's been a very good NFL punter for more than a decade. He had a minor slip up in last week's AFC Championship, but he's ready to make it in Super Bowl 43. And his former coach and school will be cheering hard for him to win football's biggest prize. Oh, it's great. And, uh, you know, the team that he's playing for, Pittsburgh looks, you know, they have our school colors, you know, they look like us, so we identify with them, especially as a defensive coach, you know, I like their defense a lot, and uh, so we're hoping that Mitch does well this weekend and wins. All right, I got to show you this match today, the Australian get going uh, just after 7.30. Well, Super Bowl Sunday is just three sleeps away, and this year there is some extra local interest in the big game between Pittsburgh and Arizona. That's because the Steelers punter hails from North Delta. Mitch Berger is the Canadian content in this year's championship game. Karen Larson has more on the man, his family, and of course his favorite foods. It's the perfect way to commemorate a local athlete making it to the Super Bowl, especially when his last name is Berger and he's a part owner of the restaurant. That's a pound of meat. I would struggle to eat that myself. <laughs> but Mitch is a big boy, so he likes that. The Super Mitch Burger is heavy on the beef with lots of kick. A perfect fit for the pride of North Delta, who will have mom, dad, and big brother in the stands in Tampa Bay Sunday, cheering him on. In the back of my mind, I figured he'd, he'd make it to the Super Bowl. But I wasn't sure what team he'd, he'd be playing for, but I, I would have wanted it to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Talk about serendipity. It just so happens that Don Don Berger grew up in Pittsburgh, a lifelong Steelers fan, and even though Mitch bounced between 10 different teams in his 15-year NFL career, somehow Dad just knew this day would come. My brother actually, one time when Pittsburgh was in the Super Bowl against Seattle in Detroit, asked if he could take my dad to the Super Bowl. And my dad said, no, I'd rather watch you in it. At North Delta Secondary, there is also excitement that one of their own is Super Bowl bound. As far as kicker punters were, he was so far above the rest, nobody else was even close. Back in high school, Mitch wasn't too shabby at basketball either, leading the Huskies to the 1990 BC Boys title. But it's funny how the burger story always comes back to food, like the time he was caught on network television with a Snickers bar stashed in his shoe, earning the nickname Snicker Kicker. And long before that, this coach's favorite memory. Probably sitting in the uh, school at lunchtime eating his big hoagies and uh, drinking his Mountain Dews. Breakfast of champions? We'll find out Sunday. Karen Larson, CBC News, Vancouver.
Okay, so the big game goes uh, Sunday. I, I'm full and I haven't even eaten dinner yet. Uh, <laughs> Kickoff at uh, 3 o'clock. The latest Vegas line has uh, Pittsburgh favored uh, by 7. Okay, a little controversy at the Australian Open today. Men's Thank okay. you, Mark. Uh, tomorrow is sports' biggest spectacle, and this year the Super Bowl has a BC connection. His name is Mitch Berger, and you can probably guess what's been named after him at the Vancouver restaurant he owns. As CTV Shannon Patterson reports, everyone from his employees to his high school coach is rooting for the Delta punter with big league dreams. Hot off the grill at the player's chop house. Let me finish the top off just a little bit more mayonnaise. A dish named after the owner. A burger for burger. Every time Mitch comes in, he has a 16-ounce tenderloin. And basically, we just put that into a burger for him just for the celebration for him. Even though I've had my own restaurants for nine years, I've had to uh, get to a Super Bowl before they finally name a burger after me. Tomorrow, Kamloops-born and Delta-raised punter Mitch Berger will play in a game he's dreamed about for decades. He was uh, an outstanding athlete. Berger excelled on the basketball and volleyball courts, but his high school coach says he found his home on the grassy field of North Delta Secondary. He was one of the uh, first guys as a kicker punter who took the uh, skill seriously and actually worked at it. You can see evidence of Mitch's passion for punting at the old Berger family house in Delta. His father built him uprights in the backyard. And all that practice paid off. It was probably the very first uh, league game that we played here on this field against Burnaby Central and his very first punt went over 60 yards and uh, you know major league hang time and you could hear all the people up on the hill just going ooh. In college he caught the eye of NFL scouts and was drafted in 1994. 14 years and 10 teams later he's playing in his first Super Bowl. I hope that uh, there'll just be some nerves in the beginning and uh, you know after I get a play or two in there that'll be uh, just a football game that we're trying to win. I just tell him to relax and keep on doing the things he's been doing. Don't give it too much thought. Do what you've done for the last 14 years and uh, you'll come out on top. I hope they do it. It'll be a big celebration in town, especially us here. There you go, Mitch. There's your Mitch Burger. Good luck on Sunday. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver. That burger is huge. Well, there is something wrong with Toronto's...